Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free tee again. So we're back from Cali and I am inspired. Uh, going on that trip every year always uh, kind of gives me a kick in the butt for my winter projects because I get to see a lot of really high-end cars. They give me some ideas and also it gives me a little break away from the shop, which is, uh, is always nice. So we're kind of working on buttoning up the last of the metal work on the free tee before we hit our deadline of uh, doing body work and paint in March. That's kind of given myself a hard uh, drop dead date that we need to have the metal work uh, satisfactory for uh, doing body work and that's like the second week in March. So I really need to get all of these last little kind of nitpicky things done. So something that's been bothering me on this car or I've been kind of struggling with since we uh, put the turtle deck on is filling in this gap right here there is a little uh, gap where the frame goes up the body comes down the turtle deck comes down and it doesn't drop down far enough I made a little filler panel that kind of went in behind and it looked okay uh, but when we started redoing these back corners and I fixed the rot uh, those those little pieces I made they just didn't fit very well because the shape changed a little bit uh, from when I made those panels so what I think after a lot of um, back and forth is that I'm going to make uh, some panels to fill in here and actually weld it into the turtle deck. So we're going to reshape this front corner of the turtle deck so that it actually matches the body and kind of fills in this area right here so it'll look kind of complete. We don't have a random panel kind of sitting in behind it that looks a little awkward. So uh, it is probably going to be difficult for any of you purists to watch, but I'm going to cut up a really nice original turtle deck, but when it's done, it'll look right, it'll fit the car, and that's what really matters. So I'm going to work on getting uh, some patterns made, and we'll hopefully have something made on this side uh, for this part of the video.
All right, so in the last couple shots, you saw where I was making this panel here, and when I got it basically roughed in where I got the edges turned, and uh, I got it sitting sort of right so it flowed with the, uh, with the frame and the body, I decided to take a step back and look at it before I started uh, cutting the top off and tipping the edge over for the top where I was gonna blend it in, and uh, also, most importantly, before I started cutting into the turtle deck. Uh, I stood back and realized that I kind of hate it. Um, a lot of times we would cut some of this stuff out, but it seems like in the comments a lot of you guys like where we show the true reality of building cars like this uh, where it is a lot of trial and error. So I wanted to show an error on my part. Uh, this panel doesn't look good. I don't like the lines, how they flow. You can see the bottom of the frame here, the radius rod uh, line doesn't really match, so it doesn't, doesn't fully work, so I'm not really happy with it. So. The next thing I was going to do is I made a pattern for making this piece larger so that it would actually cover the frame down here and it also would come all the way to the where the body meets. I made the pattern, I put it on there and what I realized when I stepped and looked at the car from behind was that it looked like there was this giant weird appendage or, or wing on the turtle deck and it looked really, really awkward when standing behind uh, the car. So. Because everything's visible, there's no fenders, you know, you gotta really walk around the car and look at all different angles to make sure that it looks right. Now, while it looked okay standing, or better at least standing from the side view, from the back it looked really, really awkward and I decided that it's probably not the best bet and uh, I'm glad I did because I didn't cut into the turtle deck. All I did was I drilled two little holes for Clecos, which I can quickly uh, weld up and fill, no big deal. So what I think I, I'm going to do my final plan is kind of to go back to my original idea just tweaked a little bit so we're going to take this guy off and we'll throw him in the scrap bin of broken hopes and dreams and we're going to take would you no come on get back uh, we're going to I made this pattern here and what I did to tweak this the uh, filler panel versus the one I made before is it's now going to cover the side of the frame a little bit. I think that's kind of the magic thing I was missing when I did it before. So it will fit up like that. So it'll fit up behind the turtle deck and it kind of cuts right behind the turtle deck. So I'll put a little tab on it so we can uh, attach to the turtle deck and then I'm going to make some tabs so that uh, or a flange that will, will kind of roll underneath of the frame and then it can fasten from underneath there uh, as well. And I think that will work pretty well because it's going to cover the frame. Uh, it'll be painted black like body, it'll be painted body color black and I think it'll kind of just disappear. And when I was looking at old photos of the uh, Iski T and Black East uh, T and also uh, the black, what they called the Black Widow, um, those cars all seem to have a blend or filler panel like this, especially the cars that were stepped. Now, Blackie's car uh, didn't have like a full turtle deck on it, so uh, but there was there was a similar deal when they were stepping where they're trying to hide some of that stuff. So um, definitely on the Iski T was the big one. When I zoomed in on some of the old photos, I could see where he had made a blend panel that kind of wrapped around the bottom of the frame, and that's where I decided to kind of go that direction because. That's what guys were doing. So uh, this should be a lot simpler. So I'm gonna cut this panel out, tip the edges, and hopefully I'll have something to, to show you guys here in the field.
we got the uh, the rib nuts in the top and the bottom. This piece is nice and tight. Fits pretty well. So uh, earlier on, like I mentioned, we're showing the reality of this. I Clico two holes when I made that first panel, and uh, now I need to weld them up while we have the drum and everything off. And uh, when I bought this turtle deck, uh, the I got it from uh, the the estate where my Riley came from, and. Uh, we, when we were negotiating on it, I was looking inside and I saw some like welds in it that looked like it had been repaired or had been messed with before and they insisted it was original paint, had never been messed with and you know they were firm on their price, which was fine. I paid the price, I was happy with it, but I didn't think with my experience that it was original paint and hadn't been messed with before. So we need to fill these two holes. You tell me if you think this is original. I don't remember in 1923 them using uh, that much Bondo on the side of uh, a turtle deck, so. <laughs> Who's gonna have to SCT that whole turtle deck? Andrew, that's Andrew's job this Sunday, <laughs> is to strip this damn turtle deck. He's gonna have fun, but I need to just get this area clean for these two little holes here and uh, weld it up, but Andrew's gonna have some fun this weekend. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so uh, we finished up the final little details at the end there, and it, uh, it worked out pretty well. Uh, I was wanting to, a little project I was wanting to do along the way was fix the gap right here in the center of the turtle deck because it's off a, a different uh, body style T and a little bit different of a curve here, and I wanted to fill that gap, so we leaf cut it, opened it up, put a little blend panel in, and I used a little bit of silicon bronze to just fill in any low spots and blend it all in so we weren't warping the panel too much, and it looks good. The, uh, the blend panel looks awesome. In the end, the simplified version that just covers the frame and fills in this little gap works really well. We ended up putting two little uh, like screws in the top and the bottom with the uh, rib nut tool in the frame and it, it attaches. It's uh, very sturdy and it's good to go. So we're gonna finish up the other side. That part of the project is done. It's something that's been bugging me for quite a while in the car and I'm glad to have it done. And one step closer to doing bodywork and paint. That's all I have for this one. I appreciate you guys following along. As always, we do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and uh, definitely share the video with your friends if you like the stuff that we're doing. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.